we will be using the strategy in regrouping to subtract and solve the problem. The school bought 132 pencils for star testing. They handed out 68 pencils. How many pencils do they have left? The number sentence for this problem is 132 minus 68. We will be modeling regrouping using concrete, pictorial, and abstract models. First, we will build the number 132 using base 10 blocks. We have 100, so we will grab one 100 block, three tens rods to represent 30, 10, 20, 30, and then two ones blocks. One, two. Next, we will subtract eight from the ones place. Right now, we can only subtract two. One, two. But how many more do we need to subtract? We need to subtract six more. Where can we find six more? We need to regroup from the tens. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can take the remaining six ones away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that we have subtracted all eight ones, you can see that we have four left. Now we need to subtract 60 from 132. Right now we can only subtract two tens. 10, 20. But how many more do we need to subtract? Four tens or 40. Where can we subtract four tens? We need to regroup the hundred into 10 tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Now we need to take the remaining four tens away or forty. Ten, twenty, 30, 40. Now that we have subtracted all six tens or 60, you can see that we have six tens or 60 left. Finally, we would count all the base 10 rods and cubes left. This will tell us how many pencils we have left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So we have 64 pencils left. When you regroup using pictorial models, it will look very similar. However, instead of base 10 blocks, we will be using squares to represent 100s, lines to represent 10s, and dots to represent 1s. To refresh your memory, the problem is the school bought 132 pencils for star testing. They handed out 68 pencils. How many pencils do they have left? So the number sentence is 132 minus 68. To better understand the abstract algorithm, we will show this simultaneously with a pictorial model. So we write the math problem 132 minus 68. We will begin by drawing one square to represent 100, three lines to represent three tens or 30, 10, 20, 30, and two dots to represent two ones, one, two. 
we need to subtract 8 from the 1's place. Right now, we can only subtract 2. 1, 2. But how many more do we need to subtract? We need to subtract 6 more. Where can we find 6 more? We need to regroup from the 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can take the remaining six ones away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that we have subtracted all eight ones, you can see that we have four left. In the abstract model, we can show this step by regrouping 110 from the 30, making it a 20, and breaking it down into 10 ones, making the 2 a 12. We then subtract 8 from 12, giving us 4 ones. Now we need to subtract 60 from 132. Right now, we can only subtract 2 tens. 10, 20. But how many more do we need to subtract? 4 tens or 40. Where can we subtract 4 tens? We need to regroup the 100 into 10 tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we can take the remaining 4 tens or 40 away. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now that we have subtracted all 6 tens or 60, you can see that we have 6 tens or 60 left. In the abstract model, we can show this step by regrouping the 100, making the 100 into 0 hundreds, and breaking it down into 10 tens making the two tens, or 20, into 12 tens, or 120. We then subtract 60 from 120, giving us 6 tens, or 60. Making our answer 64 pencils. As you can see, with the help of concrete, pictorial, and abstract models, we successfully used regrouping in the problem. The school bought 132 pencils for star testing. They handed out 68 pencils. How many pencils do they have left? Giving us the answer of there being 64 pencils left.